to that same light ray as best you could. And that's when I realized that the power of the light ray is far greater than me. Far greater than my best self and far greater than something that's just for me. That's when I realized that this was something to share, that this was really something special that was given to me to share with, with whoever wants to hear and whoever wants to listen. Another question? Oh my God, any questions? Probably afterwards. When you give the message or receive the message mm -hmm. or pass the message along, does that message take place now or in the in the future? Or in it can the do all of the above. Okay. It can do all of the above. If, uh, I'm going to give you guys a sample of it. Some of you will receive it into your soul and it will start working with you. Others will go, oh, well, that was nice. I wish I would have understood what the heck she said. You know, it doesn't mean anything to me. But what happens with that energy is getting released. And that energy will be released. may hang up here for a little while. And then all of a sudden you reach another point on your path. And things start changing for you. You start understanding. You find yourself doing research. And why am I having these experiences? What are the experiences all about? Boom. <laughs> there comes the light energy. Down into your soul. You start feeding you and pushing you into using your own imagination and pushing you into allowing you, yourself to listen to your intuition because it'll come through intuition. <coughs> That's where the understanding comes from. It goes into your soul from your higher self. Your higher self already knows what your path is. They know where you begin and they often know where you get to. The higher self knows everything. And you can get in touch with your higher self to help you. I'll give you one quick example. I can't spell what it means. If it weren't for my husband, I wouldn't be able to post anything that I do. Because I also channel a counselor who gives advice to light workers. So I write it all up, they wake me up in the middle of the night, I get in the middle of the night and I'm sitting in the dark and I'm writing all this stuff and the next morning and then I put it down, I give it to my husband and say, here, don't change anything. Just make it flow so people can read it and understand what the heck. You write in the dark, you said? Yeah, a lot of times I do. Very, very minimal light because they don't want me to wake up, otherwise I won't be able to actually sleep. So they say, just kind of like, they talk to you, they tell you what to do. So then I find out I am a fractal of or incarnated Phoebe Hurst. If anybody knows anything about the Hurst family, Patty Hurst, you know, she got kidnapped and turned into a bank robber and all that stuff. Turns out I was her great grandmother in another life. Well, she was a scholar. She was a really, really good scholar. Philanthropist, I can't even use the word, but that's what she did. So I started, I wrote her a letter and I said, okay, how come I'm so dumb about spelling, grammar, punctuation? I can't figure all this stuff out. You're up there just hanging out. Why aren't you helping me? And so now she helps me. <laughs> Part of my Exactly. Exactly. I convinced myself I could never learn punctuation and grammar because I couldn't in school. So higher selves are there for a purpose. And you can call on those higher selves to help you on your path because they know what your path is. So if we don't have any more questions, I'll give you a sample. I will see who's going to come in. And I have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth at all. But I would just ask you to kind of relax, allow it to come in, and hopefully you'll be able to have some type of a physical experience from it, whether it may be, you know, chills, colors, we get all kinds of things. Different, different people get different things. We're going to bring down the lights a little bit so it's not so bright for you. One more. Is that okay? Or do, she, she knows I'm used to working in work. Or do, you, do you want one more do, uh, off? Oh, hello. That's fine. Is that I, no, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, spare good things. They just use the vessel. That's true. Yeah, they just use the vessel. So I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths here. Okay, everybody. Come in. Hopefully, they'll tell me who it is. So I think it's Christ consciousness. Um, a lot of people just don't want to use the word Christ because they feel that categorizes some type of religion. However, it is source one and the same. So. Alex, Sorry. Alex, shut off the uh, tablet in the back because I think it's dinging. And everybody, make sure your phones are off, please. Then I 
tiria kola bakhni ne bahali hi sokuru shamba la habeli te kodamana abali kutaha mehe mala mari khanda glo shamba la bikiti kasakuru kana manini andala bogudiga hela ya mari shamba le hi te bi kutakor rahman da gati da bi kada da ba kosha ma bi anda la bakai ke ni ni on do ho shukuru ba le hi ne maya le bi su pori bi amba le hi bi bi kosha amba le bi kiti ti ata de ho manini ที่นี่อันนั้นแล้วบอกว่าเดี๋ยวหาไล่สุขโชมานี่ที่ลาสีได้บอกว่าดีละมานี่อันดาแล้วบอกว่าตาไล่เห็นแม่ไงเฮา
whether it might be a guide or an angel or her higher self. I'm finding more and more and more as I do this that more and more the higher selves are the ones that are coming in because they really know what your life path is. So just relax. It won't hurt, I promise. <laughs> so just tell your higher self that it has your blessings to receive the light language. Now what I do and what I experience when I do this is I wait and I wait for her energy to enter me and it generally, not always, but generally comes in through my crown chakra. So I feel it coming down through my crown chakra and then I feel a little pressure around my forehead. It gets tighter and tighter depending on how strong their energy is. It can even reach to the point of being just a little bit uncomfortable. And then I concentrate and I pull it down and I bring it into my heart. When it leaves my forehead, then I know it's down into my heart. How do you know, Diane? Huh? How do you know what she was saying? It was, you know how I translate things, right here. Oh my God. It's like you were understanding really the conversation. I was laughing in the beginning, I was laughing because they were, they were expressing how fast, how fast I talk. Just like her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When she was talking, like, oh my God, she sounds like she's imitating me right now. It was, was uh, laughing. It was almost like a cartoon. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. <laughs> I, I talk like a cartoon sometimes. <laughs> But it was really affecting me physically. Yeah, it was affecting me physically. Yeah, I was laughing too. I was laughing. Yeah, you were going really fast. They had very strong energy. They had very, very strong yes. energy. Yes. And, and, and towards the end, he goes, okay, that's, a, that's enough of that's the sample right now. Yeah, that's, that's the sample. <laughs> they got the idea. Don't worry about it. That was awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That was so cool. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> So uh, one quick experience I can tell you is I, I channeled my first tree. Mm -hmm. She channeled her first tree. And I channeled a tree. Okay. And I also, because this, this whole journey for me is just, finally the word awareness came to me about two weeks ago. I don't know why I never used the word awareness, but I guess my guys were saying, let's just put a label on this woman. You are becoming aware a little bit at a time. And that's how my whole journey has gone. I actually, I actually shared that light language for the first time in, uh, must have been January of 14, or February of 14, 
So I've gone from somebody who only spoke it to herself to becoming a channeler of many, many different things. Galactic beings, guides, angels, animals, loved ones, trees, um, higher selves. And it all has come in just in little increments, just little things. Um, becoming aware that, that the light language wasn't meant just for me. And becoming aware that every time I spoke the light language, it was different. I had a kid like five or six of them, and it was when an entity came in that I realized how different the language was. And that was another awareness, going, okay, there's more to this than what you think there is. And that's what I'm just telling you guys that, because on your journey and on your path, you don't get everything at once. I think a lot of times somebody is born and they're born aware and awake. They come into this world that way and they stay that way their entire life. Their vessel was meant to be that open and prepared. But us, other ones like us, like me, for instance, we can only handle a little bit of that at a time. And we have to be given that awareness so we know what to do with it when we get it. And channeling a tree was my first and channeling, channeling a live cat that was in a room with a client was also a first. It was? Yes. I, that was you. That was me? That was a first? Oh, no, no, no. Yours was a, yours was a health issue. No, I had a cat before that. Mm. Yeah, yours was the second one. Second one. Right, right, exactly. So, no more questions. I'll let you guys get your music because I don't know how much you enjoy it. What's the galactic being? Um, it means that it, was a black being, an alien, some people call him. We call them alien because we don't, we're just another race, we're just not our race. Like we have many, many races to not hurt. In the universe, there are many, many races as well. So when I call them a galactic being, it's kind of a blanket kind of thing. It could be any one of billions of different entities that are out there. Some people call them entities. A lot of people put bad labels on the word entity, but the galactic being. What benefit does it bring when you channel her? That the guide. So that guide knows what her path is. That she has this galactic guide. That she is the yeah, guide for her. You don't think we should get the uh, guidance directly from God, from the white light source? We do. These are the these these guides are all part of source. They come from source. They are source. Yeah, all then, energy is source. Well, what she has channeled, what came through to her, mm -hmm. was from her higher self. She was a galactic being in another life that she mm -hmm. lived, and this is part of her higher self. You know and that's where it's coming from. But I understand what you're coming from, but everything does come from source, mm -hmm. which is many different terms. Many people have many different terms for what source is. Mm -hmm. We've got all different things of it. But it's all the same power. It's all the same power. Don't you think we should all connect directly to the source without any intermediaries and just get the, the right knowledge from there? I mean, everything is there once you get connected okay. directly to the source. Okay, so then this person is receiving from her higher self. Where is her higher self coming from? There is no higher self. <clears throat> once you connect it directly to the source, you become nothing and everything at the same time. Okay. I don't know how to answer your question. Okay. We need to move on. You got. You can bring this up afterwards because yeah. we need to. Um, yes. My question is. Yes. Where in the galaxy, if um, you have an idea, where in the galaxy did the language come from that you spoke to us? It's all languages that have, the way I understand it, it's all languages that have ever been spoken universally. And they are used, the vibrations are used, because what you're receiving is not so much the language as you are the vibrations of the message that you are receiving. And the vibrations are multi-layer. So it's not just one message that you're receiving, you're receiving many messages. So you understood that language you were telling? I could not interpret that language, no. She was giving it. And when I do individual readings like that, it's so very personal to the it's very personal to the client. Most of the time you don't understand the message. Correct. 
And that's because the message is to the client, not to me. When I channel for myself in my language, I understand what's coming through. But I don't understand when it's going to somebody else because it's personal with them from their higher power or from source, as you still understand. In the higher dimension, there is no higher communication. There is no language. Like you catch the thought, you're ready. There is no, there is no, there is no brain even to interpret. To interpret, the direct communication. So somebody thinks something, you catch it right away. And then you think of something, you give it to the being, to the entity, or whatever it is on the other side. And and there you cannot lie because you don't have the training. So you, even if you want to say something. Your thought is so pure that they catch it right away. So they catch your intent, but they don't catch what you're trying to do because you know when you're trying to go around something. Linda, would you uh, lead us into a meditation while we start the music? Me? Yeah. I don't do meditations. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you just did. <laughs> just, you can say whatever you want. Relax, let it go. You can speak.
Thank you. 